Hey guys, hope everyone's nice and well and everyone's staying inside. But today we have a nice little story about a bard who just wants to be a bard. All he wants to do is sing. He doesn't want to kill. He doesn't want to be a murder hobo. But <laughs> let's get into the story. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you at the end of the video. And wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your butt too. Yeah, don't eat ass. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> be normal bastard born bard. Decide to try out this adventuring thing because it could be good for music inspiration or price discounts. Hey. Go to local keep and ask if there are any jobs going. Get told that they need a book recaptured from kobolds and that you can join group of mercs who are heading out to get it. Greet new friends with warm smiles. Party consists of a mage threatened to cut for experiments for smiling. A retard barbarian who does whatever the wizard says. I've never met one. <laughs> I've never met. A nearsighted cleric to some god. You don't care who, so long as he heals people, namely you. A sorcerer obsessed with getting a pet dragon. And a monk who likes hitting you because you're the bard. Go along with him anyway and hope for the best. Start singing an inspiring song as you travel to pastime. Song attracts wolves. Oh god, how bad of a singer are you? The wolves are like, woo -woo! <laughs> Immediately try to shoot one with heavy crossbow. Almost insta kill the sorcerer because you tried to befriend the savage beast and got in the way. Get blamed for it and hit again. Continue on to known location of book, Kobold Cave. Tell the rest of the party to wait back while you talk to them. Approach non threateningly and try to make peace. What be wap gotta beat bop Nina Bong Kobo threatens to slice off your nuts, but make good barbarian rushes out and kills them all. Go into cave with rest of grip. Kill most of the kobolds inside since diplomacy isn't an option apparently. Find snake altar to snake god or something. Snake man who is drunk off his ass approaches. Sing song for him and get him to talk. Learn a bit about why the book is important while making silent gestures for someone to knock him out and bag him. Wizard hits both of you with web spell before getting set on fire. Then rest of the party bags Snake Man. Find Kobold leader and surprise him by casting light on Barbarian Axe before sending him in. Somehow capture him alive and interrogate him for info. Use psychopathic wizard tendencies to boost intimidation checks. See that guy over there? If you don't tell us what we want to know, you will end up like your friend. Q wizard mutilating corpses with a knife like a fucking psychopath. Try not to vomit. Vomit. Vomiting makes kobold vomit. Vomiting makes wizard angry and he shanks the kobold. And you, for good measure. Try to interrogate snake man outside. Pull bag off head and ask where a book is. Learns that book is somewhere in big city to the south. About to ask for more when Barbarian kills him and everyone else leaves. <laughs> Sigh and take religious iconography. His fangs and his money before following. Think adventuring is not for you, but decide to try a bit longer. Get back to keep. Try to sweet talk boss lady and sugarcoat the fact you don't have the book. Explain situation and she is sympathetic. Gives party more money and some recommendations to local vendors before telling party to go. Decide to spend a few days singing on street corner while the rest of the party does their thing. Make a lot of money. Reputation gets big boost from performance. Party finds you. Shakes you down for all the money you made. Aww, that's Aww. Just... Mocks you for being a lame ass singer. Then wizard forces you to help him steal book from local library. Actively sabotage it without him knowing because you're a neutral good, not chaotic neutral. Before leaving, party decides to buy horses. Not enough horses for everyone. Consider making you walk and consider what? making you walk instead. That's what assholes! What kind of group is this? Get them to agree to buy donkey for you to ride on. Boss lady meets everyone at gate to say goodbye. Smile at her and offer flower you picked up earlier. She doesn't take it or smile, but says thank you. Sigh and eat flour because your day isn't going well and it's mildly amusing to yourself. Wizard hits you upside the head for this. Points crossbow at him. Suddenly everyone points weapon at everyone else. Mexican standoff style. Slowly lower weapon one after the other with boss lady muttering that you're all fucking idiots. Leave city and seriously regret life choices. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would, yeah. Be, I would, I would be a bit upset at this point. Party will not wait for your slow ass. Literally, he's on yeah. a donkey. <laughs> Aww. 
lag behind on us and use precious 3.5 D&D edition first level spell slot to cast Prestidigitation to clean up your donkey. Call her Mary and start singing a song while you are alone. Suddenly come across corpses of three dead patrolmen on road. Put two and two together and realise that you are partying with psychopaths. Spend a few hours giving bodies proper burial in shallow graves and say any prayers you know over them before moving on. Arrive at town long after nightfall. Find nearest townsperson and ask where the band of assholes on horses are. Find them in a local inn. Give middle finger to them before buying most expensive room because you deserve it. Next day, party decides to look for local work. You try to cheer people's moods in town by singing. Epic singing skills do not work as everyone is super depressed. Aww. I can imagine this also the most bleak and dreary town yeah. and this fellow locking up saying going doo, 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 doo. <laughs> It's like, oh me please, <laughs> leave me alone with you. Find out that a stone golem is stopping people from using local bridge. Go to sea and find rest of party trying and failing to fight it. Don't help, you didn't sign up for death. Party later blames you for not helping them fight giant fucking stone monster that one shot the barbarian with a single punch. Ask around more and learn of cult of evil snake god on top of mountain. Tell party and convince them to look into it. While climbing mountain, see giant shadow looming over you all. It's a dragon! Not <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> JPG. <laughs> Everyone hides for cover. Cleric does not see and just hides behind his shield. Hear beating of wings, the shadow growing smaller and smaller and smaller. Tiny pseudo dragon lands in front of Clark and lightly frosts his toes with breath weapon. Try to talk to it. Learn more about mountain and cult before thanking it with gold and moving on. Sorcerer stays behind to try and make it its pet. Cold clock him upside the head with crossbow butt and drag him along with monk's help. Oh, come on, you got ugly. It's a tiny It's a baby dragon. dragon. Like, take it. Take it. Just put it in your pocket. You know what I mean? Put it in your pocket, Jim. Yeah, just exactly. put it in your pocket. Just, just fuck it in the bag of holding, you know what I mean? It'll be all right. I, I, I'm lifting it. I'm sorry. I, I'd lift it too. Find evil lair and get inside. Search empty chambers and find secret area behind bookcase. Inside is mummified hand. No one else will touch it, so you do. Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> it's magical, so it could be valuable. It's the fucking monkey's paw. Oh, yeah. No, the Remember from the Simpsons? Simpsons. Yeah, yes. the monkey's paw. Yes. <laughs> Immediately feel strength sapped from your body as shadow creature attacks you. Everyone destroys magic item and then shadow, as the two seem connected. Learn from DM it was a normal magic item and he fucked us over accidentally. 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 All right. Feel like shit, but nothing a few nights rest and a good meal won't fix. Put on cult robe and offer to go upstairs to try and confuse cultists. It works. They think you're a new friendly guy who is here to Barbarian runs in, kills them all, including innocent peasant girl who went missing. Because he was bored. <laughs> Fuck. Gather up loot and room before leaving. Return to find Gollum is now gone and we can move on. Party gets payment. Wizard doesn't think it's enough and threatens to kill everyone if he doesn't get more. Tells them he's full of shit and start riding on with the rest of the party. Get magic missile in the back. Shoot him with crossbow. We agree not to shoot each other anymore after the cleric threatens not to heal us. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, jeez. You, you know shit gets close. <laughs> like when the cleric's like, you know, I've only got two spell spots here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I'm not fucking with some of you boys here. I'm just saying. Next few days are a blur. Close eyes one night. Wake up next day over a corpse of nobleman in capital city in middle of city plaza. Sounds like I'm sash. Fucking no Not surrender, sense. three yeah. day bender. Ew. The fuck is my life even? <laughs> so JPG, have panic attack, contain it. Try to convince crowd this man was evil. Actually make convincing argument and crowd starts to agree. Barbarian oh, runs awesome. at crowd with axe and starts killing people. <laughs> God damn it, I thought JPG. was stupid, not evil. <laughs> no. <laughs> not bloodthirsty at least. Well, is a barbarian not controlled by the wizard? Well, he does everything the wizard tells him to, so... So, maybe the wizard's telling the barbarian? Yeah, it could be. The, maybe, the, maybe the barbarian's charmed. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, okay, we could work with that. Fight guards, then run like hell. Get to the docks and decide to try and hide in warehouse for the rest of the day to let things cool down. Everyone agrees. Starts hiding behind or inside crates. Get lucky and find crate filled with royal bed mattresses and silky PJs. Ooh, nice. <laughs> 
get good night's sleep. Wake up, kneeled inside with Monk and Wizard, trying to push Crate off the docks. Try to stab your way out with a sword. Nearly kill Wizard in process. Get shouted at because it was just a prank, bro! Ah. (laughs) Memories from last few days start to come back. Cleric remembers Secret Base in Warehouse District and helps us remember and find it. Secret Base is owned by city rebels who want to overthrow current Church of City and kill infidels. Party is perfectly okay with this. You are not. Leave base and go outside for a smoke. Good idea to rid yourself and the world of these psychopaths. No amount of money is worth this. Find wheel oil barrels. Empty them on warehouse floor. Seal secret base entrance. Ooh. Guy Fox or what? Set fire to warehouse. Run. Never look back. Tell nearest guard squad about fire as well while using disguise magic. Keep running. Find wanted poster of your handsome face. Learn you and everyone else is wanted for murder and high treason. Try to escape city carefully. Make little progress due to military blockades. Get attacked by guards and badly wounded. Decide to use snake symbol and evil cult robe to get into big church of city for healing. Convince local pastor to help you and promise to divulge everything if he helps. He heals you. Thank him. Cast blind in him and make a run for it again. (laughs) You are not dying here. You did not sign up to be a murderer and an anarchist. Run into party on way out of city. They recognise you. Blame you for trying to kill them. Oh, come on. Party slaughters you on spot because you were tired of being bullied, abused and roped in to murder of nobility. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my introduction to D&D. You know, this was actually quite an interesting one for me anyway. Like, you know, the idea of the fella just... He just wanted to, like, you know, get along, you know. Doesn't want to... He didn't want to start fucking killing everyone yeah. right off the bat. Everyone else. It was seemed... a nice introduction to D and D, though. I think that was a nice enough. It was. It was kind of bullshit that they killed him in the end, but yeah. it was fun. You know, I think that was a good enough introduction, and he did mean very well. You know. What were your introductions in the D and D? Yeah, let us know Put them down. down below. Yeah, that actually might be interesting. I always, yeah. I always like reading them ones. I've got a good few actually before of people's like first introductions. Yeah. And normally they're a lot of fun. I always say just keep it simple. Just do something like goblins in a cave. You know. Yeah. I mean, something stupid like that. You know, you can't go wrong with that. But look, as always, guys, open your eyes or, you know, stand safe, all that other good stuff. Wash your hands, like, subscribe, notification bell. Megan's actually working on her own channel at the moment, so uh, yeah. we might pin that down below. Um, we don't know when the first video is going to be. Yeah, but I don't I do. know when it's going to come out, but, like, hopefully it'll be out and then soon. Sometime <laughs> this week, I think. That- look, I've been fully sucked into playing the sims again guys <laughs> <laughs> look anyway look hope you guys enjoy it. we'll talk to you later and we'll see you in the next video bye